Listen to that. Listen to that music. That's some good music, man. What's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back for episode seven. Seven? No. Eight. <laughs> episode eight of our Pokemon Sword Let's Play. We are here at the entrance of the cave. Um, just so you guys know, I've been watching Joey Ames' um, competitive videos on Sword. So I, I do more or less know, like, every Pokemon in this gen. Uh, well, at least, like, the full Evos. So I'm kind of spoiled on some of the the big things. Well, not the story, obviously, which is what I'm playing the game mainly for. Uh, but I am spoiled on some of the mons. Uh, but I am so, so ready to do some competitive content. Uh, I have a cool series lined up uh, for this generation. Uh, I have a couple of ideas, uh, quite a few actually, but uh, one mainly that I've already like set up um, some of the graphics for some of the uh, the people for as well. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that, but I'm waiting until Showdown gets all the sprites in um, to start it up. I might start it earlier if I'm really feeling the itch, if I really want to do it uh, as soon as possible, but I really wanted all the uh, like the new sprites in on Showdown before I started, but we'll see. We'll see where that goes. But anyway, we're not talking about competitive here today. Uh, we are on uh, episode 8, like I said, of the LP, and I want to get over to Milo as quickly as possible, so let's get this thing started. Who is you? Hi, I'm me and my little sister have set ourselves up as pop-up Pokemon Center Services. So there's just these people everywhere. Um, so she's gonna heal me. So if I were to do an LP, all these are free heals. If I want to do like a Shady Lock, for example, or if I want to do like a, a variation on it, um, because eventually I am going to do a lock on this game. I didn't want to do this playthrough as a lock, but I will come back like say in about two, three months from now and do uh, a full lock. Uh, I'm gonna get graphics made and everything. Um, maybe professionally, maybe I'll do them myself, who knows, uh, but we are going to lock this game, but this is just a regular playthrough, it's just good to know that there's all these NPCs healing you up, uh, that I don't have to, like, use heal. So, we got a, ooh, is that a Timber? Oh, yo, might be better than having Machop, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm going to lead out, uh, something that wouldn't, uh, kill... Uh, what's not gonna kill and what wouldn't get killed also um, if I'm using Raven's dark moves that could work uh, everything hits this thing really hard huh maybe like a tackle from Simon wouldn't do it so let's uh, let's fight this timber and let's see if we can catch it um, it'd be cool to know the nature of what you're about to catch as well but then again um, that I think that there is a system in this game for changing natures, so that's interesting. Uh, he's gonna go for- oh god, he has rock throw. Uh, and that is gonna do some substantial damage, that is 10%. Uh, 10 HP, rather. I'm so used to saying percents. Um, no, that's more like 20%. So we are gonna get off, uh, another tackle here. If he's only doing each time, it's not so bad, because I can just use my fresh waters. Uh, or even my potions, so. Here we go, we're gonna throw a Pokeball, try to catch this thing. And we caught it. Beautiful. Alright. So, what am I naming this timber? Alright, I got it. I'm gonna stick with the Sidemen theme. Name it Bez. Alright, so if I want to bring it into the party, uh, well, before we do that, I want to see summary, because it is level 11, keep in mind, so it's gonna be lagging a little bit behind the rest. Uh, it's a neutral nature, which isn't horrible. It does have guts, which is amazing has low kick and rock throw so I'm definitely gonna want this over over Cena the problem now lies in the fact that because exp share constantly on this thing is gonna be way behind the rest of my mons um, hopefully it catches up fast enough but we'll swap it put it out front we'll give it a potion uh, I should have done that from here that should be good enough and then we'll take on this roly coly See if we can't gain a, a little bit of EXP, and down it goes. So let's see now if we can gain EXP quick enough. So that's not going to do it. Now, what we do have, luckily, is... And I might actually go back for some mid-episode. We have 22 extra smalls.
All right, we're up to level 15. Uh, I just want to kind of get it on par with the rest of the party. So I'm going to get it to 16 here. Awesome. Okay. Oh, yes. Hell yeah. Let's go bulk up. All right. So Bez is caught up with the rest of the party. Those are convenient. Uh, also, I want to check something. So this thing's Dynamax level is nothing. Can we use Dynamax candies on it? Five. So what happens? Oh yeah, okay. So we're really close to being able to Dynamax Simon constantly. All right, about like five. What's cool is that I can actually go back to the wild area station here. And what I'm gonna go do is I'm going to go do some raids real quick. So I'll cut to the raids themselves and you guys can see what Pokemon we end up battling and I'll put like in the battle in uh, as well as um, if we end up catching them on, so. Bunnelby. Yo, look at Simon. Woo! All right, so this is a Dynamax Bunnelby. I'm gonna wanna catch this for sure. Pick up as well. Darn. Oh well. It's also bashful. I think this is a Caterpie? Yep, Caterpie. <laughs> Alright, number three, and yep, this is a Choodle. This is a thick boy. Look at this guy. What is this thing? Oh, it's a scraggy! And you're dead. Alright, so we got six more of these. We're gonna use five more. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Alright, so now, if we go and take a look at Simon, you will see that Dynamax meter at the bottom is full. So we should be able to Dynamax him in game at all times. Okay, so what's really cool here is that you can click check map and uh, check this out. Boom. Actually, hold on. We can actually- Oh, we can fly to routes? Yo, that's so useful. Oh, it runs away. Darn it. Alright, we'll battle this guy. Keith! Roller, take a low kick to the face. Yeah, it's a two hit. All right, weak armor. Ooh. Oh boy. All right, let's tackle. Not too much damage. Should be faster than me now. No, it's still not. Wow, this thing is really slow. Okay, one trainer down. Raven at eighteen. Oh, hello. This is our third Evo. We have an Evo every episode at this rate. Yo, what up? 
this thing, this thing is the coolest one in the chain, I feel. Corva Squire. Let's go. Smart enough to use tools. And, ooh, okay. All right. Just want to look at Corva Squire's uh, stats real quick. Raven, check summary. That's pretty good. It's really good, actually. This reminds me of uh, the cave um, in X and Y, right before the second gym. I forget the name of it, but yeah. Georgia! What you got? You got a timber? I got a timber too. Bow. Mine's a higher level. Hell yeah. Crit. Why would you switch up moves? It's not smart. Still advised. Another one? All right. And we take down three timbers. Fantastic. Give me money. Thank you. Just a real. Ooh. Well, that's weak. TM26. Wasn't that Earthquake before? Huh. I guess it's something else now. Might as well catch this. Fantastic. Sandra, you got a diglet, and down goes the diglet. Uh, Drillber. Another one bites the dust, and we beat her. Damn you! I wanted to get around you. Russell, running low on low kicks. Oh. <gasps> Yo, this is where they are? No way. That's so good. Okay. Sweet. Oh, no. So, if you guys don't know... This is the best new competitive item. So, um, basically, it prevents damage from any hazard. It's insane. <laughs> it's actually a crazy item. Uh, it's really good for Pokemon, obviously, like Moltres, uh, Volcarona, uh, Moltres, Volcarona, a few other things, a few things in this game, which I won't mention until you guys see them. So, yeah, really good item. Another ball here. Two super potions, not bad. Oh, look who it is! Coming this way, I'd advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in Pokemon. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Ready to catch these hands? You. You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You are aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. How are you, five? I suppose I should prove beyond a, sh beyond a shadow of a doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. I want to destroy- is that a great ball? I want to destroy BD. Yo. Solosis? <laughs> okay. And I'm a joke? Dude, you're about to get destroyed. Let's snarl. And then he's probably gonna say, uh, yeah, it was just luck that you beat me. <laughs> I'm expecting a line like that. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
What did I say? Can't accept that you're actually nothing. What the? Hatena. Anticipation. Yeah, of course. But you already know I have this move. I know you're part fairy too, by the way. This mountain's pretty cool. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it, oh, it's not part fairy? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Special attack fell. What are you going to do? This is a good time to test out a move I've been interested in. Oh, yeah? Disarming voice? Cool. It's not going to do much. Ooh, 10 damage. Whatever will I do? <laughs> it's a good thing I lowered its special attack, otherwise that would have done 15. Goes Hatena. Or Hatena, I guess. Oh, so you're a psychic trainer. Okay, I, I, see, how, I see how it is. Alright. I hate that there are two Pokemon in this game that can trap you. Dugtrio and Gothitelle both made it into the game. And that pisses me off. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys. I was worried for nothing. <laughs> I gave it the competitive boost about to die. But no. You didn't even knock out one Pokemon. You suck, dude. You're actually bad. I see. Well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying at all that... I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Yeah, sure you weren't. Dude, you suck. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. How many freaking evolutions are we having? Yo. Give me that Thievil. Yo. Yo, Thievil is sick. Thievil's actually sick. I love its design. Look at that mustache. Beautiful mustache. Secretly marks potential targets with a scent. By following the scent, it stalks its targets and steals from them when they least expect it. Yeah, so it's a bandit. It's a bandit fox. That's awesome. Look at it. Look at the boots. Look at those little boots. Ooh, thief. Is there anything worth getting rid of for thief? I guess tail whips useless. And we have Thief. Well, that was unexpected. I'm more able than I thought. Naturally, I'll remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. Oh, have you now? What the hell's the point? Alright, let's get this. Bag of Stardust, so more money. Anything else in here? Just... Nope, we're good to go. Alright, let's get to this town. We got Route 4, and then we head into Turfield. So, you must be the other sister. Hiya, me and my big sister have set ourselves up as pop-up Pokemon centers. Now that we ask anyone if we could or should, just heal me up. Alright, just gotta get through Route 4 now. Um, gonna shake this tree down. Alright. Ooh, is that a Pumpkaboo? Alright, we're definitely gonna catch you. Gorgai seems like a good shout in this game. Woo! Pumpkaboo, get! What's here? Yo, Meowth looks so dumb <laughs> in this game. Hey, all right, let's see. Plus attack, tough claws. Ooh. Hmm. Not bad. All right, let's battle you. Poke Kid. Hey, Pikachu. Oh, the cry. Alright, we somehow made it out of that alive. Another one. Jamie.
Hey, big win. Sunny. Oh, that's its name, Milsery. Okay. Should knock it out. All right. All right, cutscene. Wooloo, where do you think you're going? <laughs> oh, Wooloo uses rollout. Oh, hello, buddy. Wooloo crashed into you and stopped. All right. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. Hmm? Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes. Ah, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. I'm a grass leader. I'm a oh, I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym chat. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. Come on now, back to the stadium with you too. We can't keep the gym challengers waiting. All right. So guys, I did say that I want- oh, there's Hop, yeah, no. I said that I wanted to take on Milo in this episode, but I didn't realize how long it would be to get through that cave and through all the trainers. Uh, I'm up to an hour and 13 minutes in recording, and I'm gonna have to cut this down so much. Um, even if it cuts down to like 20 minutes, I prefer to give you guys a 20 minute episode or a 25 minute episode, um, well edited and everything then give you um, like a 40 minute episode or a 45 minute episode which through the gym in editing. I don't like that. Uh, so we're gonna do the gym all in one episode and uh, maybe a little bit after it. I don't know how this goes. So uh, I hope you guys did enjoy, of course, us going through that cave and taking on BD. At least we had a, a big uh, match in this episode. Uh, you guys got to see us take on a pretty important trainer. So. Uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, of course, as always, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if this is your first time on the channel, or otherwise, make sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the series so far. I know it's dragging on a little bit, and it's taking us a while to get to the first gym, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. Sometimes it's long to get to the to the gym like it is now. But uh, yeah, and make sure to get that notification bell on so you don't miss a single episode uh, from here. I'll see you guys on the next one. Ciao.